What is going on guys? I'm back with another episode of a TV movie podcast and today I have for you a Big Brother Live Feed update. So, as we know, if you haven't noticed now, Assign has won the veto. That's his second win in a row. We talked about that last video. This video, let's talk about the veto speech. So apparently the veto speech, Hassan had to say a veto speech because he had to put up a, because he won the veto, right? And so apparently the speech was a little bit harsh to Riley. I don't know what he said exactly, but it just pretty much turned everybody off. And then they're thinking, dang, maybe this is going to make people think that maybe we should keep Riley and, and, and we're going to feel a little bit bad about Riley. But nobody really genuinely feels bad. It's just kind of like an excuse to maybe shift the target to Cameron because they, they need an excuse to maybe shift the target to Cameron. And they got their perfect excuse now because of what Hassan did. And I guess people are kind of like scared of Hassan. Like they don't want to go against Hassan because he's kind of intimidating, right? I mean, we saw that conversation during the episode when he was talking to Matt and how he was just looking through his soul. So, yeah, but they got their excuse now to try to keep Riley. And so the target shifting to Cameron. And so now that Riley kind of has like, you know, her her lifeline now, Corey tries to talk to Riley and say, hey, you might be able to stay now. And Riley's like, all right, all right. I just need Cerise vote, though. And Corey's like, no, you need more than that. You need, and she tries to like hint to her that you need more than Cerise vote. You need players that she's working with to to make sure you stay. And then Riley's not getting it because she's Riley. And so that conversation goes nowhere. But I think Riley could stay at this point, but it's kind of like 50-50. It all depends on if Cerise feels comfortable enough to go with that side of the house. Then we see that Hassan talks to Blue and Jag and they start an alliance, but it's not really much of an alliance. It's just a sign really talking at them and saying, hey, I feel good about you guys, not Riley. So when Riley goes, I want you guys to work with me. And then obviously Blue and Jag are going to be like, oh, no, no way. They're going to say, yeah, sure. And so they kind of suggest, hey, how about we bring Matt and um, uh, who else? Was it just Matt? And, uh yeah, they asked if they can just bring Matt, and then Hassan is just like, nah, let's just keep it us, you know, keep it small. So I don't think this alliance is really going to go anywhere. It's just Hassan trying to save his butt for next week. And then we see Jared and Blue talk. I, don't, I wouldn't watch that conversation because the way Taryn described it yesterday, how cringy it was, how Jared was trying to be like, oh, I'm the man. Yeah, all that popping and stuff. I need, I need to see that, man. But uh, apparently it was cringy when Jared left the room. Blue was like, man, this dude talks too much. So, yeah, I, I want to see uh, where that showmance goes. I don't think it's going to go anywhere, though. But, you know, I need to see that conversation. But anyway, this has been a TV and movie podcast. Thank you for listening and watching my live feed update. I'll see you guys in the next episode. Peace.